He said they still married, but he don't like her no more. He said they have an understanding. He said she ain't the woman she used to be, ain't got time for him, and has grown way too demanding, so he hopes we can be friends, me and he. Not we as in him, her, and me, just the two of us. I'm thinking since they have an understanding, maybe they've already discussed the possibility of new friends. But he says she don't know and she don't know him and he would like to call me baby. Maybe even grow this. Got me standing in the mirror with my hands on my hips, turning from side to side, wondering if mistress looks good on me. Because obviously my suitor thinks it's a perfect fit and I must consider it since he chose me out of all, the, all of the ladies he could have gotten with. Mistress kind of rolls off the tongue like concubine, like brother's line, like read the signs, like nigga, I ain't got time to be your go-to girl, your girlfriend, and you must have gotten high today when you decided to approach me with that Willy Wonka nickel-plated ticket. Brother, you are not a prize. Simply an erection waiting to happen disguised as hers been. His name was Richard. May I call you Dick? I personally am sick and tired of I'm married, but being your PBS words of the day. It's elementary. Why haven't you graduated to high? I'm Richard, married, never getting divorced, and I was wondering if I could buy you a drink and then take you somewhere and disrespect you, of course, and my vows. Could you decide now? I got church in the morning. Maybe then I would recognize your gangster, but it still won't look good on you. I mean, like, did you see me and think like, yeah, she looks like someone I can use and be real disrespectful to. But it's funny how everything that I won't do, there are 29 sisters who will. See, there are sisters out there that will be more than happy to sleep with your man and not give a fuck how you feel. If you was treating him right, if you was treating him right, he wouldn't have to come to me. Bitch, you didn't just say that to me seriously. Now you're his savior man. Well, I guess if he's the captain in your fairy tale, then he's the one saving you, ho. But when it comes time for commitment, you'll be like, where did he go? He wasn't transparent enough, sweetie. He's ghostly, mostly because he's a coward. He will never stand beside you when he only wants to lay under you, but you too stupid to see that he's the one riding you, boo. Giddy up, girl, and watch your lone ranger take off again. But see, you can't be mad because he never was, never tried to, and never will be your man. And this is who you wanted me to be? But see, this brother obviously didn't know me, so I had to ask him again, did you say you wanted to make me your baby? Cause baby, for you, means unity candles and flower girls, written promises and borrowed pearls, written promises and a vow before God. So excuse me, brother, if I find it a little odd that you have no problem breaking the promise that you made to the king of all kings. No sanctity in your vow, no circle of trust in your wedding ring. I do met you did for a limited time. Don't be trying to turn adultery into my last name, especially since you gave it a new definition than even Webster King. James, you keep your gasoline drawers on and stand next to the flames so it can lick on your fancy and ignite your passion. I'm going to stay over here and be a little old-fashioned and wait for the person who walks with integrity, who knows what they mean when they say, will you marry me? Ladies, cheaters are rarely ever reformed. In the society that we live in, they become part of the norm. If he's cheating on her, he'll be cheating on you. Because he can only do what you allow him to do. And he he can't be for you if he's promised to her. If you're confused about it, you got a book to refer. What is for you is for you. Can't nobody take that away. He might come tomorrow. He might come today. But you don't want an unfaithful man because he's not worth his weight or worth his weight or his wealth. Because an unfaithful man is only out for himself. Then you gotta respect your sisters. Stop being blindly led. Get a man of your own and stay the fuck out my bed.